Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. What's your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Well, guys, let me share with you the class presentation. Today, we are going to review the use of words to express preferences. Okay? So, we are going to study words. This is our class number 14, and it's Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. Okay, so in this session, the use of the model bear wood for requests will be that. We have an example here. Would you like to dance? No, sorry, I don't like dancing, and I don't like you. <laughs> I wanted to share this picture with you as an example of the use of would you, would you like to dance? So that's what we're going to be working on today. And we have the following agenda, recalling previous knowledge, would for expressing preferences, and practice in wrap up. The practice will be listening practice. So right now, I'm going to take the attendance. Please turn on your camera, say present, say here, but please turn on your camera, okay? Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Ana Marisol? She's not in the class yet, okay. Ana Patricia Garcia de Sanchez? Present teacher. Joana, Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. I'm here. Nice, Benjamin, welcome. Brenda Adriana Mendez. Thanks. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Brian Steve Lo Rodas. Brian, we cannot hear you. Okay, maybe you have problems with the microphone, but I know you're here. And then Claudia Ise Lopez, Cordoba. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Claudia. Daniela Magali Asensio Navarrete. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Present, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Elisa Areli López Campos. Present, Miss. Ok, Elisa. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Elisa. Elsie Patricia de Jesús Martínez. Good evening, teacher. I am here. <laughs> Thank you, Elsie. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present a message and he's having problems with the internet okay uh, Griselda Lizette Moreno present miss thank you Gris. Jacqueline Viviana Enrique present miss thank you Jacqueline Janel Carolina Rivera Jocelyn Natalia Mancia. Good teacher. Thank you. Karen Xiomara López. I'm here, teacher. Aprovecho. Thank you. <laughs> Karina Yasmin Nuila. Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Leslie Natalie Orellana. Present teacher, le dejé un mensaje. Yes, I, I already read it. Uh, Lucía Elena Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Margarita Abigail Tobías. Present. Thank you, Margarita. Martín Ernesto Estrada. Mayri Yamile Alvarenga. Present me. Thank you. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. 
Michelle Beatriz, just on time. She's connecting right now. Eh, Roberto Carlos Cuella. Present teacher. Thank you, Roberto. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. I'm here, teacher, present. Roberto Eduardo Selma y Emilia Peña. Present. Ok, Victoria Ingrid Leal de Contreras. Ok, Victoria is not connected today. Ok, I'm going to mention some people again. Ana Marisol Castillo. Present teacher. Daniela Magali. Janet Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Janet. Karina Yasmin. Martín Ernesto. Eh, Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Ok, thank you people for connecting on time. Ah, la señora Magari, ahí está Daniela. Pero no le escuché decir present. Francisco. Present teacher. <laughs> you could make it. Excellent. Ok, thank you everyone for being connected to the class. Well, today with activity number one will be an exercise to practice big numbers or large numbers. Mm, could you tell me how to read this number? One hundred twenty three billions forty six seven four five six hundred. No, uh, no, thousand seventy eight nine hundred. Seven hundred eighty nine. Okay. okay, somebody else would like to try. Thank you, Francisco. Good try. Somebody? Roberto Carlos. But we cannot hear you, Roberto. One hundred twenty-three million. Yes. Uh, four, four hundred, four hundred fifty, fifty-five, um, fifty. Thousand. 50, 56, 56,789. Great. Okay. Now you will see it here. Okay. Thank you. 123,456,789. So very good. Congratulations. Okay, Thank so you. let's practice with big numbers, guys. I'm going to share with you an exercise in which you will practice with these numbers. Yeah, sometimes could, uh, if we don't practice, we can tend to forget how to read the big numbers, right? So today, in the first activity, we'll practice the numbers. Just give me one moment. Okay. In the screen, you will see uh, the first exercise. We have to match the number uh, to the way it reads. For example, this is, is not one to three, it's 123. 123. Exactly, 123. And this? 1,234. Very nice. And this one? 12,000. 
1,445. Exactly, 12,345. Okay. Next. 1,453. Yes, that's right. Okay. And now here. 1,245,275. 577. And the last one is yes, twelve million three hundred forty five thousand six hundred seventy eight. Now you're going to listen and match, but for that, give me a moment because I need to check some things in my computer. Just a moment, guys. Okay. Listen, and you will tell me what the number is. 58,620. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> One more time. 58,620. 58,620. Excellent. So it's 58. Very good, Francis. You have good listening skills. 58,620. Okay, the next one. 586. 100. Yeah, the second one. The first, the first one. The first one. No. 586. 500. El primero. The first. Yes. Okay, next. 5,862. And the second, second one. Second. The second. Second. Uh -huh. second. second one. Second one. Yes. 5,862. 5, 5, yes. Mm -hmm. 5,860,200. And number four. 5, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, Five million eight hundred sixty thousand and two hundred. The last, the last, the last. Yeah, don't tell me the the primero or the último. The first, the last. Okay. <laughs> Five hundred eighty-six thousand and two hundred. For how do you read it? How do you read it? Five hundred eighty-six thousand. Five hundred eighty-six thousand. Two hundred. Two hundred. 586,200, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now in the next, in the next exercise, you have to write the numbers. Uh, just give me one moment, guys. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we have write the numbers here. In the first one, we have, can you write it in the chat, guys? Oh, okay. The first is 914,768. Nine hundred fourteen thousand seven hundred sixty eight. Okay, in the chat, guys. Okay, let's see, we have nine hundred fourteen thousand. 768. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Eduardo Miley. It's 914,000. 14. Not 40. 14. Okay. There is a difference between 40 and 14. Okay. The second one. 800. 
Uh -huh. 248. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Nah. Mm -hmm. Todavía no hemos llegado to the correct. Ah, okay, Brian, Steve. You got it correctly, Brian. Okay. Very good, Brian. So it's 800 million. Mm. 98,248. Very good. Okay, number three, 511,982. 511,000. Ah, very good, Benjamin and Brian. Yes, it's 511,982. Okay, very good, Francisco. Yes. Okay, 7,334. 34. Excellent. Okay, so we have 7,334. Yes, very good people. We have Margarita, Roberto, Brian. Okay. 7,334. Francisco, ese que escribió sería eh, 700,000. Uh -huh. Don't worry, we are learning. We are practicing. Okay, the next one. 3,451,453. 4, Three, this is a big number. Okay, very nice. Three million. Very nice. 451,453. Yes, very nice. Excellent. Three. Very good, Thelma, Francisco. Yeah, and Brian, Miley. Yes. Okay. Good. Next one. Two million three hundred fifty-three thousand and two. Two million three hundred fifty-three thousand and two. Oh, very nice. Two million three hundred fifty-three thousand. Three thousand and two. That's correct. Okay. Uh, Four hundred fifty-five million six hundred fifty-two thousand one hundred. <laughs> yes. How would you say that? How would you write that? Wow, Brian, Steve is so quickly. He's good with numbers. We have talent here, 455,652,100. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Okay, 66,265. Sixty, 
Just give me a moment. I'm thinking about it. A lot of zeros. <laughs> One million. Oh, yes, I made a mistake. Give me a moment. One million. Uh -huh. It's because we have, Michelle has one million and one hundred thousand and one. And this is one million. One thousand and one, like this. Okay, and two million and three. Two million and three. <laughs> okay, people, thank you so much for your participation. How was it? Easy. Easy? Yeah, for me it's easy. Okay, great. Very nice. Okay, people. Uh, now we are going to continue with the next part of the class. <laughs> I have an interesting message here. It says, I wish I could have all these numbers in my pocket. That would be great. <laughs> okay, very good people. So now we are going to continue with the rest of the class. Okay. As I told you today, we are going to learn about wood, the use of wood. Mm -hmm. We know that for the use of wood like, we have the subject first, I, you, he, she, it, we, you. <coughs> and, then, and then we use wood like, in this case, with the verb like, wood like. And we can use an infinitive or we can use a noun. The infinitive, for example, to work, to eat, to visit, to study, to see, to go, etc. Or we can use a noun, like in this case, I would like pizza. You would like some pupusas. He would like tacos. She would like new pair of shoes. It would like a, a different color. We would like a a rest, for example, etc. So we can use the infinitive, an action, a verb, to and the verb, or we can use a noun. This is in the affirmative form. In the negative form, the only thing is that you are going to add not after would. I would not like, you would not like, or in the contracted form, wouldn't, which is a, you add N apostrophe T. You wouldn't like, 
he wouldn't like, okay? In the next slide, you will see a, oh, in this one. In the question form, we move would to the beginning. We start the question with would plus the subject plus like to and the verb or a noun. So in this, in this exercise, we are going to write the sentences. For example, Yuri has a hamster. So the question, sorry, the sentence is, Yuri would like to have a hamster. Okay, what about Sara go to the zoo? Sara would like to go to the zoo. Exactly. Sara would like to go to the zoo. Okay. Nice. Okay, number two, Mary would like to have a cup of tea. Mary would like to have a cup of tea. Number three. I would like, I would like to play volleyball. Exactly. I would like, I would like to, play to play volleyball. volleyball. And number four. We, we would like, like to make a snowman. To make a snowman. 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 Five. They would like to, to go skating. To skating. Like to go skating. Exactly. Skating. Number six. We would we like to buy sweets. To buy. She would like to buy sweets. Sweet. Number seven. They, they would like to go to be late. late. Good to be late. Can we make it negative? How would you make it negative? They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They would not. They would not or they wouldn't. Mm. I would like to be the city London A. London I. London I. <laughs> yes. Would like, like to be the London, London I. And number nine, children she would like to eat ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Children would like to eat ice cream. Eat ice cream. And number ten, Robert would Robert like, like to go for a walk. Robert Carlos or Robert Eduardo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Robert would like to go for a walk. Excellent. So you can use them correctly. Very nice. Now let's go to the next slide. And we have more exercises in the next slide. Excuse me. Okay, and this is easier because you just have to choose what is the best okay, option, what is the correct option, okay? So for example, I would like, or I would like to travel to Spain next summer, but I don't have enough money. I would like to travel to Spain next summer. I would, exactly. I would, I would like, like to. Too. A little bit. Let her be. Okay, what about the number two? Number would two. you like to see? 
Exactly. Letter B. Like to see. Letter B. Exactly. Number three. Yes, I would like a sandwich. Would like, would like a sandwich. Letter A. Letter A. Okay. Are you ready to order? Yes, I would like a sandwich. Exactly. With two or without two? Without. I would like to I, a sandwich or I would like a sandwich? I, without. A, B. Would like. Yeah, Letter I would like a sandwich. Letter A. a. Letter a. I, I, yes, I would I, like a sandwich, please. So in this case, we have a noun, not an action. We have a noun, no. a sandwich. Number four, I'm bored. What? What would you what like, would you like to, to do this weekend? weekend? What B. would you like B. to do? What B. would you like to do, to do. this weekend? Mm -hmm. Okay, number five. How many chocolate chip cookies would you like? To like. Would you like? Exactly. Great. And number six. Little B. Little B. Little B. Okay. Would your, would your kids, kids like to play? Like like to... The park next weekend? And number seven. Would you like a cup of tea? Like, I have this is tea, guys, because I have the flu. So I'm drinking tea. <laughs> would you like a cup of garlic and onion tea? Yes. Yes, I yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. <laughs> okay. Garlic tea, onion tea. <laughs> you are a sick teacher? <laughs> Honey. Yeah, I had the flu the weekend and yesterday, but I, I'm feeling better today. Okay, Thank you, good. but I'm still drinking. So the tea. Mm -hmm. tea. Okay, number eight. I feel sick, so B. I would like to. I would like to. Early today. I would like to. I would like to go home early today. Yes. Yeah. And number nine. Letter, a. Letter B. Letter a. So B yeah. or A. 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 Hey. Hey. <laughs> yes, who would like some apple pie? We would. Exactly. X would like because we don't have an action. Different if it says who would like to eat some apple pie, but we don't have the verb. So it's just who would like some apple pie? We would like. We would. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Good. And now, guys, I have prepared for you um, the listening. Okay. Are you ready to listen? First, yes. you need to have this in your notebook. Steve and Sara are working late. Listen as their boss asks what they like, what they would like for dinner. What do they order? Fill in their choices. So maybe you can copy, guys. I will can give you some time to copy because you need to complete this. Maybe you can copy quickly in your notebook. Steven and Zara. Pizza, salad with green, with dessert, dessert, dessert.
Ready? Let me see. Give me yeah. one second, please. One moment. Please. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now I am going to share the listening. Okay. <laughs> Stephen and Sarah are working late. Listen as their boss asks what they would like for dinner. What do they order? Fill in their choices. Sarah, Stephen. Thanks for working late tonight, guys. I'm going to order dinner for you from City Table Restaurant. Wow, thanks, Luis. Yeah, thanks. I emailed you a link to their online menu. Open it up and have a look. What would you like? I don't even need to look. I love their sausage pizza. I'd like a small one. And I'd like a small pizza with peppers, please. Okay, great. The pizzas come with salads. What kind of dressing would you like? I'll have Italian dressing. I'd like vinaigrette, please. Great. Now, what would you like to drink? Some coffee, maybe? That sounds good. I'll have a coffee. Okay. How do you take it? With cream and sugar. I'd like an iced tea with lemon, please. Perfect. Have you looked at the desserts? They're really good. Are they? Well, then, I'd like a slice of blueberry pie. And how about you, Stephen? Hmm. I don't usually eat dessert. Are you sure? Remember, I'm paying. Well, okay. I'll have a piece of chocolate cake. Good choice. That's my favorite. Okay, I'll order everything online. The food will probably be here in 30 minutes. Page 90. Exercise 9. Part B. Okay, so how was it, guys? Easy, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to listen again, or do you have the answers? I have the answers, but I don't know. Again, uh, please. Okay. The salad. Yeah, their choices. <laughs> Sarah, Stephen, thanks for working late tonight, guys. I'm going to order dinner for you from City Table Restaurant. Wow, thanks, Luis. Yeah, thanks. I emailed you a link to their online menu. Open it up and have a look. What would you like? I don't even need to look. I love their sausage pizza. I'd like a small one. And I'd like a small pizza with peppers, please. Okay, great. The pizzas come with salads. What kind of dressing would you like? I'll have Italian dressing. I'd like vinaigrette, please. Great. Now, what would you like to drink? Some coffee, maybe? That sounds good. I'll have a coffee. Okay. How do you take it? With cream and sugar. I'd like an iced tea with lemon, please. Perfect. Have you looked at the desserts? They're really good. Are they? Well, then, I'd like a slice of blueberry pie. And how about you, Stephen? Hmm. I don't usually eat dessert. Are you sure? Remember, I'm paying. Well, okay. I'll have a piece of chocolate cake. Good choice. That's my favorite. Okay, I'll order everything online. The food will probably be here in 30 minutes. Page 90. Exercise 9. Part B. Listen to their con. Okay, guys. Ready with the square answers? We have the first one, Steven. What would Steven like to eat? Sausage pizza. Exactly. He wants the sausage pizza and the, sm the size small. pizza. Small. A small pizza. Oh, no pizza. Okay, so he would like Peppers. a small sausage pizza and the salad. 
Mm -hmm. Vinegar. Vinegar. Great. Vinegar. Mm -hmm. And coffee cream sugar. Coffee cream sugar. He would like coffee, coffee with sugar. sugar and sugar. And uh, as the sort? Blueberry uh, pay. A piece of chocolate cake. A piece of chocolate cake. Steven. Steven, Steven would Steven like is... a piece of... A piece of chocolate cake. A piece of chocolate cake. Exactly. Exactly. Chocolate cake. Okay, now, Sarah. What blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. As a dessert, he would like a slice of blueberry pie. But what, what sh would she like for pizza? What Caesar kind of pizza? pizza. Caesar uh, pizza. Small, small pizza, pizza, pizza with peppers. Pizza. 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 Small pizza, pizza with, pepper. with peppers. Okay, and the peppers. salad with? Italian dressing. Italian. Italian dressing. Italian. 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 Green lemon. Ice cream. Ice cream lemon. Ice lemon, please. For drink, she would like iced tea with lemon. Iced tea with, with lemon. <laughs> okay, very nice. Good. I have another listening exercise. This listening exercise is so you are from Hawaii? Megan talks about Honolulu. What does she say about the size of the city, the weather, the prices of things, and Waikiki Beach? Then you would write sentences comparing Honolulu with your hometown. <laughs> but in this moment, first, you are going to listen to Megan talking about Honolulu, okay? So maybe you can copy, you need to write about the size of the city, prices of things, the weather, and Waikiki Beach. I will send a picture if you want to have it. <clears throat> Let me know when you are ready, guys. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. Okay. Page 84. Exercise 1. Listening. So, you're from Hawaii? Part A. Listen to Megan talk about Honolulu. What does she say about these things? Complete the chart. So, you're from Hawaii, Megan? That's right. Where in Hawaii? I'm from Honolulu, on the island of Oahu. Wow, Honolulu. That's a fairly big city, isn't it? No, not really. It's not too big. The weather is great, though, right? Oh, yes, it is. It's very comfortable the whole year. Warm, but not too hot. I've heard that Honolulu is an expensive city. Is that true? Well, yes, it is pretty expensive. Rents are high, and food is expensive, too. That's because everything comes in from the mainland. What's that beach in Honolulu? Well, Waikiki Beach is really famous. That's where all the tourists go. Yeah, that's it. Waikiki Beach. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, uh, would you need to listen one more time to check? Yes, please. Okay. No. Ready. Oh, you're ready? Nice. Just give me a moment. I'm looking for it. Okay. It's difficult to work. Really? 7 to 12. Progress check. Page 84. Exercise 1. Listening. So, you're from Hawaii? Part A. 
Listen to Megan talk about Honolulu. What does she say about these things? Complete the chart. So you're from Hawaii, Megan? That's right. Where in Hawaii? I'm from Honolulu, on the island of Oahu. Wow, Honolulu. That's a fairly big city, isn't it? No, not really. It's not too big. The weather is great, though, right? Oh, yes, it is. It's very comfortable the whole year. Warm, but not too hot. I've heard that Honolulu is an expensive city. Is that true? Well, yes, it is pretty expensive. Rents are high, and food is expensive, too. That's because everything comes in from the mainland. What's that beach in Honolulu? Well, Waikiki Beach is really famous. That's where all the tourists go. Yeah, that's it. Waikiki Beach. Waikiki Beach. <laughs> Very nice, people. Okay, now I am going to ask you the questions. What about um, the size of the city? It's big. Is it's not it's too big. Not too big. It's not, it's too, big. Big. It's not too, big. too big. Exactly. What about the weather? How's the weather like? Um, it's very cold. It's very cold. It's very cold. 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 Not too hot. Not hot. It's warm, but not too hot. What about the prices of things? The rain. It's expensive. It's very expensive. It's pretty expensive. It's pretty expensive. And what about Waikiki Beach? It's really a famous. place it's a famous. It's a famous. 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 Oh, Honolulu. Famous. It's very famous. All tourists go to this beach. Okay. Now, guys, in the exercise B, you have to write sentences comparing Honolulu with your hometown. Uh, for example, this is an example. Honolulu isn't too big, but Seoul is really big. Instead of Seoul, you will write San Salvador, Santa Tecla, Santa Ana, Cincinnati, your city, okay? You can share your cities via chat or you can open your microphone and share. Okay, about the size of the city, the weather, prices of things, and any other attraction that your city has.
Okay, we have some sentences. The food in Honolulu is more expensive than in Wasapa City. Excellent, Margarita. Uh -huh. Very nice. You are using the comparative. Okay, what about uh -huh. Honolulu isn't too big, but Cincinnati city is really big. Very nice, Claudia. Elsie, try to write a, a complete sentence. Chalatenango is colder than Honolulu. Okay, Miley, you're from Chalatenango? Are you from Chalate? Miley. Hello, Miss. Are you from Chalate? No, I am from San Salvador, but I know that Chalatenango is very cold, especially the La Palma. Yeah, there are some cities in Chalate who are, which are a fresh and cool, but there are some parts in Chalatenango <laughs> that are very hot because I lived in this, in one city, Nombre de Jesus, and it was very hot. I also stayed one month in Concepcion Casaltepec and it was very hot, but oh, La Palma, Pitala, El Pital, Pital are cold. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the Chilatenango, the city the, of city, yes, is, is very hot, but the La Palma and Pital is, is cold. Yes, that's right. The weather in Honolulu is very comfortable, but in Osulu town, the weather is very hot. San Miguel is, okay, I'll see. Ahí sería hotter. San Miguel is hotter than Honolulu. Honolulu isn't too big, but Lourdes isn't really big. Okay, teacher. Two. Okay, Francisco, como es negativo, usaría either. Honolulu isn't too big, but Lourdes isn't really big either. Okay, Francisco? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The weather in Honolulu isn't very comfortable, but it was in the where it's very hot. My city from Chalpa is cheaper than Honolulu. <laughs> so Lucia is from Chalchuapa. Chalchuapa is in Santa Ana or Huachapan? I guess it's in Santa Ana, right, Lucia? Yes, it's in Santa Ana. Okay. Yes, it's in Santa Ana, teacher. Very good. Okay, I want to see more examples. Okay. Eh, Ana Marisol, Honolulu is. Maybe you wanted to say colder. Honolulu prices are more expensive than in El Salvador. Very good. Very good. No more than sentences, examples? Y 
in Casaltepeque is it too cold, but Honolulu is very cold. Mm. Well, according to the listening, Honolulu is warm, but not too hot. I'm going to send you guys an exercise about uh, large numbers. Okay, I send you guys an exercise, yeah. It practice uh, big numbers. If you want to continue practicing the numbers, Mm -hmm. I will send you to, I will send it to the WhatsApp too. Okay, so you can have the exercise there. Teacher, el link que mandó me da error, no sé por qué no me da acceso. Voy a intentar otra vez. Sí, me, a mí me salió raro también. No sale bien, ¿verdad? Yeah, give me a moment. I will send it in the group, in the WhatsApp group. Ya, teacher, ya, ya pude entregar. Ok. Uh -huh. If you want to practice there, you can. Very nice. Good guys, so it's time for the wrap up. Time to finish up the class tomorrow. We are going to continue with more listening practice and review. I have another listening, but tomorrow. So can tomorrow you- Tomorrow is Wednesday. Oh yes, it's true. No, not tomorrow, Thursday. On Thursday, okay? So tell me, what did you learn today? I learned to uh, learn um, numbers and write and um, learn. Uh, and write big numbers. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, what else? Another How to use would like plus an action and plus a noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was reading Eduardo's text. Okay. Can you give me an example using would like plus an action and using would like plus a noun? In action, I, for example, I will I would like play and play football. Okay, you would like to play football? And as using a noun? Somebody? For example, if I ask you guys, what would you like to eat for dinner? What would you like for dinner? I'd like a burger. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> A burger. Robert Eduardo. Would you like a candy? I would like to eat uh, tacos. Roberto would like to eat some tacos. Okay, yeah. somebody said a candy. Candy. She like mm -hmm. a candy. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Be careful with the sugar. That's right. Ana Marisol would like a song way. Okay, I would like pupusas, cheese and noroco pupusas. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds, sounds really sounds delicious. Great. Sounds good. Yeah, but I already had this. With a coffee cup. I have beans. With chocolate. I already have dinner. Oh, really? I have bean soup and rice. And video, Ana Marisol. Avocado. <laughs> oh, so good. Nice, Ana. Okay, so what do you what which activity did you like? I like how I have liked to make exercise. The exercises, okay. The exercises of the numbers or with wood? Uh, with wood. With wood, okay. What do you need to practice? Listening. <laughs> I need to practice listening. In my case, I like it was listening, but I know I need to practice listening very nice. because it's very difficult for me. Don't worry. Thursday uh, and Friday. What I need to practice is speaking. Speaking. Okay. In, yeah, in yes. my case, is confidence. I need more confidence, you know. Nice. Okay, so to, I will take it into account for the next two lessons, Thursday and Friday. We'll have more listening, more speaking, and more, yeah, that <laughs> confidence in you. <laughs> you will get more confidence with practice, practice, and practice. Okay, people, thank you for connecting to the class. It was a pleasure to see you, how you, you can rest. Thanks to you, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.